Hey, hey there, everybody. On Ruby again. Playing a new game. Well, new. Quotation marks. New for the channel. We're playing Deadly Premonition today. This is actually a game that I have been meaning to play for a long, long, long time. And since the sequel got announced like a couple days ago, I decided, hey, maybe finally today's the day to like not be lazy and actually start playing it. And that's what I'm doing right now. But yeah. Whew, I've been looking forward to playing this game for a long time. I've heard a lot of praise for it, and a lot of hate, either way, but I think I'll love it. Now, fair warning, I've heard the PC port of this game is less than adequate. So there might be a couple of visual errors or other things here, but I can live with it. I've played worse games in worse conditions. Yeah, as a big horror fan, a big mystery fan, and big fan of David Lynchian stuff, I'm really looking forward to this game. If you don't know what uh, Daily Premonition is, I don't know either. I am basically going to this fully blind. The only thing I do know about this game it's is that I will like it. Run around here, boys. The only thing I know about this is that it's a mystery game, and that I'll probably love it. But I'm going into this with high hopes. Anyway, I'll keep quiet now. Watch this cutscene. <laughs> I've seen like the first 20 seconds, but yeah, everything off the basically this point, I have no idea about. That a dead woman there. He did it. Is that on her eyes? Are those tears? Sound. Jesus, okay. She's been mutilated. Is that like his daughter or something? Or their mom? Is this like Eve and the snake in the Garden of Eden? Is that what the type of symbol sim symbolism they're trying to go for here? Either way, this music is really good. I mean, I like it. Deadly premonition. Director's cut. Not seem to, those kids do not give a fuck about the dead woman they just saw. Not seem to give a single shit about it. Nice beetle. Okay, I'm seeing the influences already. No! 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 A 
I'll let you guys know what I mean just now. Just a lot of people being sad about this. Well, I'm assuming all of them about this woman's death. Okay, that, that was an intro. Anyway, so only thing I know about this game is that it's really, really weird and sometimes disturbing, sometimes over the top, funny, weird, just like campy, just so many adjectives. And also, it's inspired by David Lynch and Twin Peaks, and I love Twin Peaks, <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Well, I say I love the. I've never. I haven't actually finished it. I should get around to it someday. I've like what I've seen of it. But yeah, I see the influences from Twin Peaks already. But yeah. So I've been looking forward to this game basically since I heard about it, like a couple of years ago. But I've never actually like built up the effort to <laughs> uh, actually um, start playing it. So yeah, let's get going. I'm actually really, really looking forward to this. And basically, I just got the. Uh, uh, effort, like the motivation because the sequel got announced and I was like I should actually just start this game standard issue FBI handgun can hold plus one bullet attack low. Another story. Ah, uh, yes, of course. You've been waiting a long time for this, so how about a special one? This story is very strange and very nasty, but somewhat nostalgic. Do you think you can be a good girl and listen all the way to the end? Is it a scary story? It might be. But it's also a very uh, important story. If you don't want to hear it, I can tell you a different story. No, I want to hear it. This way, I won't be scared. Will you turn on the TV then? This is all like... Leave the sound down. Like I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I'm just already entranced. Now, listen. This is important. At times, we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. I like that line. Purge things from this world because they should not exist. Okay then. Left stick to move. Left trigger to run. 
Oh god. What is wrong with my... Okay, so for some reason... Okay, I'll get this fixed by next episode. I'll just deal with it now. For some reason, up and down on my right stick moves the camera left and right. And left and right moves it up and down. Uh, is there any way I can fix this now? Yeah, okay, this is really Twin, Peak, Twin Peaks inspired. Twin Peaks inspired. Whew. Trading card. Killer's MO's. Profiling. Options. Camera setting. Try Invertal. Okay, that did not make a single bit of difference. Sorry, this isn't the best, way, it's the most exciting way to start this. I'll do this next time. It's locked. Actually, wait, no, this is too. Uh, just let's take, make it back to normal. Camera setting, normal. TV. An A or Y is displayed on screen. Act with A, observe a Y. Oh. Observe. A white screen. Francis York Morgan. Observe. Add this trading card to my collection. Pick item. You got Francis York Morgan. That Morgan. That looks like me. me for hanging costumes. Give me the creeps somehow. Though it might be useful for jackets and such. A doll shaped like a fat man. There's a plate on it which reads Washington State. Are we in Washington State? A strange clock is ticking away. Though the room itself makes you feel as if time has stopped. Sorry to keep you waiting. It will start soon. What will start? That is very ominous. It's about time. To get started. Zach. Zach. Can you hear me? It's me, York. If you can hear my voice, could you respond? Uh, okay. Answer. Good. I thought you went to sleep. Zach, don't be surprised. The crime took place out in the country this time. Let's take it slow. Okay, Zach? Yep, for sure, dude. Whatever you say. I thought I was playing as you, but I guess I'm Zach. Nice. Sure, that's one way of looking at it, but it's totally wrong. <laughs> that's a freaking atmosphere change. <laughs> Listen, they both need each other. It's called interdependency, and they both know it. Yeah, I know. He does terrible things to Tom. Nasty, even sadistic things. But that's fine, as long as that's what Tom wants. Think of it. His actions. He's always asking for it. It's what is partner's this? job to fulfill that need, and they're Jerry talking as, knows that. They're talking about this like it's some freaking BDSM relationship. True? Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. They're fucking talking about Tom and Jerry! Hello? <laughs> Hello? Oh, okay, yeah, I love this game. I, I feel like I, I really like this game already. Still can't get me a satellite phone. Network error. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. Well, I'll be a happy camper. Even if it ends up being a waste of time, at the very least it'll get me out of the cramped city for a while. Right, Zach? Zach. The perpetrator from the last case really was something. Who'd have thought there'd be razors laced into your nails? 
crazy. Just crazy. Well, at least I now have a scar to show off. I mean, it suits you, dude. It See looks this? nice. I got this when I arrested the Catwoman wannabe. Women. They're crazy. Don't you agree, Zach? Who the fuck is that? Out of gas. Jesus. Wait, what? Those squirrels just make monkey noises. I won't question it. Oh, it works now. Okay, cool. Hmm. In the in the rain. Hmm. Zach, there goes the civilized world. Big survival knife. Want to say it? Yes, I do. Flashlight on or off? X. Where is my flashlight? Just exists. Okay, cool. That that's fine. Observe. It smells like Douglas fir. Gold building material. Doesn't seem like anyone's been taking care of them though. Can I walk into the fire? Will I get hurt? Yes, I will. I definitely will. I hope that didn't screw me. Tough luck Tough to leave you here, old buddy. How long were we together? Ever since I joined the bureau. Shouldn't on. Steel pipe. Box. Okay. Uh, how do I access the toolbox? I may so ask. Weapon. Mission knife. I mean, I'll equip it for now. What else do I have? First aid kit, coffee, cigarette, uh, lollipop. Where's my toolbox though? Oh, it's fine. I'll figure it out as I go. Box where I keep my stuff. Oh, okay. Take it out. Oh. I want to equip that. Okay, this humming in the background is reminding me of Silent Hill 2. So 
I hit things? And where do I go? Oh, like that. Cool. Oh. It's still not destroyed yet. Got it. Yeah, uh, that sky doesn't look very good, my dude. Start profiling. Okay then. Profiling start. Looks like we're being welcomed. Zack, I'll let you handle the meet and greet. Okay, oh, so this is where I came from. I can go that way or this way. Go this way. Oh wait, is this the way I'm meant to be going? Oh, okay. Sorry if my uh, my commentary isn't being that good. I can't see much through this fog. The path might be blocked from the rain. We should stay away from us. obvious danger. Sorry if my commentary is not that good. I am just still very confused about what's happening. I'm just trying to gather my feet and gather my. Still trying to gather my um, uh, thoughts and senses right now. Observe. Lightning looks ages old. We're off the path now, but things aren't looking much better. I hear a dog. I hear a dog getting hurt. Like, what the? Who the fuck is hurting a dog? You know, I'll kill him. for a peaceful picnic. Do me a favor and stay sharp, Zack. <laughs> Does running reduce my hunger faster? Not sure. <laughs> this is just more silent feel too. Seeing the enemy from a distance first. Flash, red flash. Can of pickles, taken. You got a can of pickles. Do I need a like a can opener? To open it? Doesn't look like anyone lives here. No reclusive hairy brutes to greet us. Just gonna keep saying the same thing. Cool. So, control panel for the power grid. This should give us electricity. Not an expert opinion, though. Power grid is controlled from this cabin. Chances are we'll find a generator or something. It's right here. Turn on. Cool. Now I can get through that door I haven't seen yet. Hello there. Silent Hill 2, finding the radio, find the zombie. Turn on the generator, find up the z oh god, please don't make me shoot while my control is fucked up. Okay, that is a bit that is scary though. I will admit that. You got mysterious shadow. Up 
Where am I? And draw it with RB. Draw a weapon and aim with... Dude, my controller doesn't work. Oh, okay, I can lock on. Oh shit! Get the fuck off me! Go oh, on, Lux. Get up, get up! Where did you come from? First aid kit, small uh, take kit. I have infinite ammo, what? Oh, probably because it's a shit. Can I please leave? Thank you. Hello. You another one of those things? Yes, you are. Yes. Old sign, I can't make it out. Gret and Veil. It's like we're headed down this road, Zach. Are we? What is this? Agent Honor. Can't see much through this fog. The path might be bluffing the rain. Another wall. Can't go past. <coughs> Ooh, okay, so. <coughs> we got these weird freaking zombie shadow things chasing us. Well, not chasing, they're like. Existing around us. The hours back. Bless civilization for automated doors. Come on, let's get moving, Zerk. Profiling start. I've been through a lot of crazy situations, but that one. That one takes the cake. I'm sure it's the it does. First time dude. I've been attacked so directly. Even with Zach, the Catwoman. Can you give me a logical explanation about what that was? Never mind. Don't answer. Life is fun because of the mysteries, right, Zach? Sure, dude. Sure. But is Zach the actual guy? An actual guy he's talking to, or is it just something in his mind? Maybe I missed something. Lollipop. Apparently these are supposed to make hunger go away. Hunger go away. I don't think they're very nutritious though. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, they're just infinite lollipops here. Okay. Okay, cool. Should report to headquarters to give them an update. So, sweet sugary candy recovers a little bit of hunger. Save. Oh, okay, so you save at phone booths. Cool. Do you want to save? Yes, I do. Keep going a bit more. Keep pressing the draw weapon button accidentally because I've been playing Resident Evil 5 with my friend and the left bumper is a button you used to sprint with that in that game. But it's the one you used to draw your weapon in this. Yeah, I did it again. Ma'am, can I please pass by? These enemies' hitboxes last so long after they've been killed! What is this? Observe. I can move this. It's up to you, Zach. Up to me? What are you talking about? What are all these footsteps that are here around me? An old sign, Grenvale.
Uh, so now they're coming out the fr the, the floors, okay. Okay, sir, so I need you to- oh god. Uh, my controller. I'm gonna fix this by next episode. Yes. Oh, now it's gonna block me for an A- oh, it didn't. Cool. Nice. Oh god. Fuck on, please. Oh, thank you. Um, how am I meant to push this thing? So what do I do with these boxes? Can I break them open? Do they have stuff inside if I break them open? Not sure. I'm gonna go down this road. Oh yeah, this one is a weapon. Dude, this is just like fucking Ultra Despair Girls. I got this shit. Turn the generator off. get going <coughs> so yeah um, oof, I've just heard a lot of mixed feelings about this game but from a lot of people but it sounds like like from the people I follow and stuff and the opinions I've heard it sounds like a game I'll love and I'm enjoying it right now I mean it's pretty fun right now uh, I hear something oh god it's where are you? Oh. I didn't see you, dude. Come, come, turn around, turn around. Oh, I see you. Agent Honor. Excuse me. Yes. Can I get can I get what you drop, please? Can I get what you drop, please? Can you... Thank you. I just walk in a circle? Am I back to where I started? Oh no, this is my toolbox. Okay. The generator looks really bad. Zack, I think the killer really had a grudge against it. Huh. Got machine broken by an axe. 
I got the actual machine? Wow. Big pockets. Start profiling. Profiling start. <gasps> Back. Let's try to find a way to fix this mess. Got the fuse box. to get through. Nope, no power here either. No, we bet we'll find a generator nearby. Search for one, Zach. I mean, I know where the generator is, we just need to fix it. And how we do that is another matter entirely. Oh god, uh, I feel a combat encounter coming and my right analog stick is not prepared for it. Item. Weapon. Let's use the steel pipe. Cool, oh, well, let's go in. <coughs> okay, York, let's see what's happening inside here. And what's gonna try to kill us. Nice. So we kill that. All these shacks look the exact same. Looks like nothing is broken since it's the same bulb doll. I think I can fix it. Yeah, you just replace the fuse box. Just chuck the fuse box right in. Power in the area should be more than stable now. Tsk, hurry ahead, Zach. Much more stable now, not more than stable. Read your lines. Let's go. Cool. It's gonna be waiting outside. I honestly thought it was gonna be something. Oh, okay, there it is. That's exactly what I thought. Oh, this is a speedy boy. All of them dead. All of them. Got you guys. Okay, uh, so... I'm just gonna stick with a melee weapon for now. Because my aiming isn't that... Isn't that... Reliable. Ooh, uh, Nice way of holding your knife, dude. Hello. Oh, this guy has a weapon. This guy too. This guy too. I thought there was someone... I thought I saw someone behind me. I'm probably just seeing things. Another crash car. Okay, so that destroys durability, so don't do that. What are these black splotches they come out of? Those are interesting. Are my fant legs wet? No. Why are my feet like in the ground? Okay, uh, no, no, I thought my feet were in the ground. <coughs> but yeah, so. Huh. What does stabilizer do? Okay, 10 millimeter auto bullets. I don't have a 10 millimeter pistol yet, but well, we'll make do. 
the stabilizer do? I want to find that out. It restores pulse rate and also keeps it low for long. Okay. Got it. See how much... I just want to see how much... I'll save onto my health store. I don't know how much HP um, the uh, things restore. First days kids restore. Okay, my knife's gone. Back to the gun. At least for a short while, I don't have to rely on my aiming. <laughs> X. Oh god. Oh! Dude, you nearly got me. Nearly. You nearly had me there, dude. Great. However, <coughs> I wasn't too far. Like I didn't see that guy coming at all. I just ma I just started running. Coincidentally, in the moment he tried to attack me. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. I pressed it though. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck was that? Okay then, now I need to be more on my toes. I think I pressed the button too late. If I don't go through, th through it soon, the red ivy will lock it up. How fast do you think this ivy grows, dude? <coughs> Okay, it grows pretty fast. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. Good to know. Got red ivy. Okay, we've got three key pieces now. Start profiling. What are those two bits of static? There's definitely something in this town. That's a statement. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. <laughs> There's the Twin Peaks showing through. Yesterday morning, the milk I poured in my coffee made a sign. It said, Tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate. That's quite a... F <laughs> That's quite a thing to... Quite an interesting thing to read into your coffee, dude. Really happy that you saw that in there. Okay then, so that was the beginning of Deadly Premonition. Very interesting, and I am enjoying it so far. However, I s sorry if my commentary wasn't really up, really that good. This is the first time I'm doing a like an action. I'm doing a let's play of an action game on this channel, so I am still like trying to figure out how I should, how and when I should commentate, and stuff like that. So yeah, well. Thanks everyone for watching. Wait, wait, now that I'm out of that area, is my handgun still infinite ammo? Yes. So, well, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time. Deadly Premonition. Bye.